I entered the secret door and left those dungeons behind. Ahead of me was a less dank portion of the basement. According to Mike, there had to be an elevator somewhere that went to General X's office, which should ultimately hold the original helicopter key. On the other hand, Robert told me that he heard of a special room with an X on its door, which could alternatively hold a copy of that key. Either option was fine as long as I could get a hold of a damn working key. And thus, my search of the basement began. General X's private elevator. Just like Robert told me, there it was, the secret room where they kept the helicopter key. Why would they keep a key in such a creepy place instead of an office? The more I thought about it, the more things felt out of place. I had a strange feeling, like a gut feeling that something was just wrong. <laughs> Mr. Fox, you have finally arrived. General X? The same. Are you searching for a key, Mr. Fox? Perhaps one for a helicopter? Hmm? You won't find it here, Mr. Fox. I'm afraid that your contact has betrayed you. <laughs> Fuck! Don't blame him. He's been the victim of my counterintelligence. Right there, in front of me, was General X, the puppet master of Operation Jericho. Not only was he a merciless, psychopathic asshole, 
He was so smart that he could predict my every move. For starters, he tricked me and Robert into searching for this room. You had us waiting longer than expected, Mr. Fox. If you drew some arrows in the labyrinth, I would have come sooner. That would remove a certain charm, don't you think? By the way, I brought some company. Colonel! Doctor! I see you're already acquainted. I'll get to the point, Mr. Fox. Surrender, otherwise, we'll start executing our guests. There were too many people. If I opened fire, Harris and the Doctor could die. Let me guess. You're considering the option of shooting but you know that Harris and the doctor could die. Fuck, yeah. He read my mind, but that asshole X was a clean shot. If I shot quickly, I could kill him. Now you're probably thinking I'm stupid for being so exposed, and that you can kill me with a quick enough shot. If you shoot and kill me, that would be the end of the final boss. Of all of us, you'd be a hero. Do you really have such a low opinion of my intellect, Mr. Fox? Shit. This was part of his plan. He was here on purpose. I was thinking that he might have worn a bulletproof vest. By now, you should be thinking that I'm wearing a bulletproof vest. Shooting an armored man would be foolish, don't you think? Fuck. He read my mind once again. But even if his body was covered, his head was not. One bullet between his eyes and goodbye. But you're not a quitter, Mr. Fox. It's only logical that you'd consider shooting me in the head. I will admit, a challenging yet possible shot. An Olympian trial of marksmanship, reflexes, and luck. Let me spare you the trouble. Sergeant! Yes, sir! Shoot me in the head at point blank range. But, sir! That's an order. Yes, sir. The bullet went through his head, but the bastard was unfazed. Return to your post, Sergeant. Yes, sir. <laughs> what you're staring at in awe, Mr. Fox, is a projected image of myself. A hologram? Precisely, Mr. Fox. And now that it's obvious that you can't kill me, let's conclude the matter of your surrender. Or are there not enough dead bodies to convince you? Just give me 10 seconds to think about it. Of course. Kill the doctor. Mr. Fox. The bullet went through his head. Kill Harris. It's okay. I surrender. Thank <laughs> you.
Mr. Fox. You have finally arrived. General X? The same. Are you searching for a key, Mr. Fox? Perhaps one for a helicopter? Hmm? You won't find it here, Mr. Fox. I'm afraid that your contact has betrayed you. <laughs> Fuck! Don't blame him. He's been the victim of my counterintelligence. Right there, in front of me, was General X, the puppet master of Operation Jericho. Not only was he a merciless, psychopathic asshole, he was so smart that he could predict my every move. For starters, he tricked me and Robert into searching for this room. You had us waiting longer than expected, Mr. Fox. If you drew some arrows in the labyrinth, I would have come sooner. That would remove a certain charm, don't you think? By the way, I brought some company. Colonel! Doctor! I see you're already acquainted. I'll get to the point, Mr. Fox. Surrender. Otherwise, we'll start executing our guests. There were too many people. If I opened fire, Harris and the Doctor could die. Let me guess. You're considering the option of shooting. But you know that Harris and the Doctor could die. Fuck yeah. He read my mind, but that asshole X was a clean shot. If I shot quickly, I could kill him. Now you're probably thinking I'm stupid for being so exposed, and that you can kill me with a quick enough shot. If you shoot and kill me, that would be the end of the final boss. Of all of us, you'd be a hero. Do you really have such a low opinion of my intellect, Mr. Fox? Shit. This was part of his plan. He was here on purpose. I was thinking that he might have worn a bulletproof vest. By now, you should be thinking that I'm wearing a bulletproof vest. Shooting an armored man would be foolish, don't you think? Fuck. He read my mind once again. But even if his body was covered, his head was not. One bullet between his eyes and goodbye. But you're not a quitter, Mr. Fox. It's only logical that you'd consider shooting me in the head. I will admit, a challenging yet possible shot. An Olympian trial of marksmanship, reflexes, and luck. Let me spare you the trouble. Sergeant! Yes, sir! Shoot me in the head at point blank range. But, sir! That's an order. Yes, sir. The bullet went through his head, but the bastard was unfazed. Return to your post, Sergeant. Yes, sir. <laughs> what you're staring at in awe, Mr. Fox, is a projected image of myself. A hologram? Precisely, Mr. Fox. And now that it's obvious that you can't kill me, let's conclude the matter of your surrender. Or are there not enough dead bodies to convince you? Just give me 10 seconds to think about it. Of course. It's okay. I surrender.
the explosive, I needed something to act as a timer. Mr. Fox, you have finally arrived. General X? The same. Are you searching for a key, Mr. Fox? Perhaps one for a helicopter? Hmm? You won't find it here, Mr. Fox. I'm afraid that your contact has betrayed you. <laughs> Fuck! Don't blame him. He's been the victim of my counterintelligence. Right there, in front of me, was General X, the puppet master of Operation Jericho. Not only was he a merciless, psychopathic asshole, he was so smart that he could predict my every move. For starters, he tricked me and Robert into searching for this room. You had us waiting longer than expected, Mr. Fox. If you drew some arrows in the labyrinth, I would have come sooner. That would remove a certain charm, don't you think? By the way, I brought some company. Colonel! Doctor! I see you're already acquainted. I'll get to the point, Mr. Fox. Surrender. Otherwise, we'll start executing our guests. There were too many people. If I opened fire, Harris and the Doctor could die. Let me guess. You're considering the option of shooting. You know that Harris and the Doctor could die. Fuck yeah. He read my mind, but that asshole X was a clean shot. If I shot quickly, I could kill him. Now you're probably thinking I'm stupid for being so exposed, and that you can kill me with a quick enough shot. If you shoot and kill me, that would be the end of the final boss. Of all of this, you'd be a hero. Do you really have such a low opinion of my intellect, Mr. Fox? Shit. This was part of his plan. He was here on purpose. I was thinking that he might have worn a bulletproof vest. By now, you should be thinking that I'm wearing a bulletproof vest. Shooting an armored man would be foolish, don't you think? Fuck. He read my mind once again. But even if his body was covered, his head was not. One bullet between his eyes and goodbye. But you're not a quitter, Mr. Fox. It's only logical that you'd consider shooting me in the head. I will admit, a challenging yet possible shot. An Olympian trial of marksmanship, reflexes, and luck. Let me spare you the trouble. Sergeant! Yes, sir! Shoot me in the head at point-blank range. But, sir! That's an order. Yes, sir! The bullet went through his head, but the bastard was unfazed. Return to your post, Sergeant. Yes, sir! <laughs> what you're staring at in awe, Mr. Fox, is a projected image of myself. A hologram? Precisely, Mr. Fox. And now that it's obvious that you can't kill me, let's conclude the matter of your surrender. Or are there not enough dead bodies to convince you? Just give me 10 seconds to think about it. Of course. Have you already made up your mind, Mr. Fox? Yes, I've decided that. Watch out! Behind you! <laughs> Did you seriously think that I'd fall for such an old trick? For the record, I warned you. Doctor! I'm fine. What happened? An explosion. The guard behind you received the brunt of it. Colonel! He's alive. Looks like he just blacked out. 
We have to leave before reinforcements arrive. I'm taking Harris with me. It's best not to move him. We don't know if he has any fractures or internal wounds. I'll take the risk. He can't stay here. Doctor, let's go! I'm not coming, Fox. Why not? There are injured that require my attention, and I don't want to leave my father alone. What? They were going to kill you! No, they weren't. It was just a trick to catch you. And if I leave, my father won't work and they'll kill him. Run! Go away! I'll come back for you with the cavalry. You have my word. I left that room, carrying the Colonel. Wait, you're saying that you managed to rescue Colonel Harris? That's correct. Well, Mr. Fox, let's see what you invent to remove him from this story. Lieutenant, we found a corpse in the remains of the helicopter. What? Who is he? We don't know, Lieutenant. It was totally carbonized by the fire. Take him to the lab. I want a forensic analysis done yesterday. Do you understand me, Wachowski? Yes, sir! Fuck. We killed Colonel Harris. May God forgive us. No, he's not Harris. The Colonel died a month ago in an ambush. These are his personal belongings, his dog tag, his watch. Don't you remember, Sergeant? We found them on his corpse. That man has never seen the Colonel. He's just trying to confuse us with his lies. Fuck's sake, he has absolutely no evidence for what he's saying. I have this. But, what? If I'm not mistaken, it's a graduation ring for the 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. Colonel Harris graduated in a 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. Sergeant, you don't believe him, do you? With all due respect, sir. I only said that Colonel Harris graduated in the 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. He's trying to fool us, Sergeant. I remind you that there are more rings like this one. Yes, but not with the same smell. It reeks of shit. Sir, permission to smell the ring? Fuck. It smells just like Colonel Harris's anus. What? How the hell do you know what the Colonel's anus smells like? I'm not authorized to reveal that information, sir. Fuck, fuck, fuck. This is getting out of hand. Mr. Fox, continue your story. Let's see if we can finish this once and for all.
went up in the private elevator of... Lieutenant, they found a bullet in the carbonized corpse head. A bullet? So it wasn't us after all. Colonel Harris was murdered. Hey friend, don't look at me. I haven't killed anyone. I'm not your friend. For fuck's sake, shut up. Wachowski, send the bullet to Science Officer Hollister for analysis. And tell him to collate it with the gun Mr. Fox had on him. Maybe we'll have a surprise. I want the results of that five minutes ago. Understood? Yes, sir. Wow! That asshole General X had some cool music equipment. Multi-band equalizer, auto-amplified subwoofer, and... No way. Double-deck cassette player. Fuck, you could record directly from one cassette to another. Fuck, I found out that bastard kept a fully stocked armory behind his office. <laughs>
reached the last floor. Lieutenant, we already have the ballistics results. And? You are right, sir. Ballistics established that the bullet was fired from Mr. Fox's gun. You killed Colonel Harris, you bastard. Sergeant, behave. Sir, permission to execute that assassin. Permission denied. First off, we can't confirm the identity of the victim until we have the forensics report. Second, according to policy, Mr. Fox has the right to finish his story. Mr. Fox, continue. And you better not contradict the evidence we're collecting. Mr. Fox, leaving so soon and without a farewell. That's not very neighborly of you. And what's that on your shoulder? That's personal property, Mr. Fox. Haven't your parents taught you never to steal? General X stood in my way, assuming it was really him and not another hologram. Are you asking yourself if I'm another hologram? Well, yeah. <laughs> no, not this time. It is I, in the flesh. Good. Then I'll... Put a bullet in my head? You read my mind. Please tell me, Mr. Fox. How does one shoot that which they cannot see? What? What the fuck? Do you like my new device, Mr. Fox? Optical electronic hollow camouflage. The latest in nanotechnology. Obviously, if you start firing randomly, there's still a chance I may be hit. I believe dumb luck is a concept you're fond of? So if you don't mind, I invite you to expend some ammunition with some friends. some grenades though. Let's find out.
left, Fox? <laughs> I imagine not. I suspect you've stashed some grenades, though. Let's find out. which means it's time to comfortably finish you. By the way, I'm sure you may have noticed by now, while you were distracted with my friends, I took the liberty to follow you around and recover some of my stolen property. Underestimated you, Mr. Fox. Yeah. Boss defeated. <laughs>
Tell me, Mr. Fox, how are you going to take me if you can't move? What? You're so predictable. I knew you wouldn't kill me or let me die. Just like all of my other subordinates, they consistently led you directly into my trap, Mr. Fox. Honestly, I hope you were going to surprise me again, like that little spark in the basement. But once more, the pen is mightier than the sword. By the way, thanks for volunteering to test my new paralyzer. The discharge it releases shuts down the whole peripheral nervous system. You should have killed me when you had the chance. See you never, Mr. Fox. See you never, General X. Are you alright, son? Uh, uh, uh. Don't worry. The effects on the paralysis will wear off soon. But it's not prudent to stay here. Come on, stand up, Fox. I'll help you walk. and I went to the helicopter. A few minutes later, when I regained my motor skills, we took off. Lieutenant, we have the forensic report of the carbonized corpse. Hand it to the sergeant. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Looks like we can finally prove that Mr. Fox has been lying. Sergeant, what does the report say? And the physiological study confirms that the corpse with identification C4423 measures three inches taller than Colonel Alan Harris disproving his identity. What? Then he's not the Colonel. Of course not. I told you, Sergeant. Care to explain this, Mr. Fox? Are you going to tell us that he was tortured on a rack until it stretched him three inches? That would be ridiculous. He's not Colonel Harris. I never said he was. You what? You just told us that you both flew away in that helicopter. I told you we escaped together, but never said that corpse was Colonel Harris. In fact, I have no idea who it is. Are you sure you found it in the helicopter? Did you plan it yourselves to incriminate me? Like some dirty cops? How dare you! Enough games, Mr. Fox, enough! We'll find out who you are and then we'll execute you. What now? What the hell is happening in here? Colonel in the room, salute! At ease. Colonel Harris? You, you're alive. Sir, we, we thought you passed away. As you can see, Lieutenant, I'm alive and kicking. Why is this man handcuffed? We were interrogating him. He's a spy that we captured, sir. A spy? Are you pulling my leg? He's a civilian who was imprisoned for a crime he didn't commit. He's also the man that not only saved my life and freed me from the ex-army base, but also he found classified information about Operation Jericho that will be essential in stopping the X-Army. For goodness sakes, that man's a fucking hero. Release him immediately. Y yes sir Did you tell them your heroic feet, Fox? I was at when we entered the helicopter, Colonel. But it looks like they found a corpse in the helicopter. But fuck, I don't know who he is. They say he has a bullet in his head, and it came from my gun. But I haven't killed anyone. That corpse was General X. I killed him with your gun myself. Don't you remember? See you never, General X. Later, while you were regaining your senses inside the helicopter, I retrieved General X's corpse and dragged it to the helicopter's aft. That bastard was heavy. In the air, you know what happened. Fox, they're following us. Don't rush me, Colonel. I'm getting used to the controls. This piece of junk has levers and buttons everywhere. But don't panic. I think we'll be able to reach Allied territory before they catch up. Then I'll call the cavalry. Charlie, Alpha, Charlie, Alpha, 5443A, do you copy? Damn it, this radio isn't working. Fucking piece of shit. Don't 
Don't worry, Colonel. As soon as we reach Allied territory, they'll stop pursuing us. Don't worry? Son, with no radio, with this fully armed piece of Soviet junk pings their radar, the first thing they're gonna do when we don't answer is take us down. Fuck. So we'll be shot at if we keep going, or we'll be shot at when we turn around? Affirmative. We're between a rock and a hard place. We'll abandon the helicopter as soon as we cross the border. I'm gonna search for the parachutes. But jumping would still be risky in this jungle terrain. You have them, Colonel? We're nearly there. There's only one, Fox. You jump and deliver the documents to the Allies. Are you insane, Colonel? They won't believe me. And you don't know how to pilot this junk. I'm dead to them anyway. You're young. You have your life ahead of you, son. Take this ring. Show it to them. They'll believe you. Fuck, it reeks of shit. Well, that's because those asshole bastards were going to snatch it as they put their hands on me. So I hit it. In the only safe place I had left. My ass. Come on, son, put on the parachute. Colonel, you need to jump and tell them everything yourself. We argued about who had to jump, but I had to admit that Mr. Fox had one convincing argument. Fox, what are you waiting for? Hurry up, son. We are running out of time. For heaven's sake, put on the parachute. Yeah. The next thing I remember was waking up, hanging from the parachute tangled to a tree. The owner of a farm who spotted me arrived a few minutes later. After tending to my wounds and offering me food, he was so kind as to bring me here to the base. The lieutenant and the sergeant were shocked and immediately apologized. A few days later, the Army decorated me with two medals. Jesse Fox, for rescuing an MIA military colonel and recovering intelligence on Operation Jericho. I, Colonel Alan Harris of the 5th Battalion, award you a Purple Cross of Civilian Courage. <laughs> that medal really exists? It didn't. They had to invent it, as they had nothing that they could provide for a civilian. You're also awarded the Gandhi Medal of the National Idiot. National Idiot? Well, I received it because I didn't kill any enemies at all during the escape. As you know, militaries don't get why killing is wrong. Well, at least we agree on that. So, thanks to the documents I found, the Allies could find and sink every related submarine. The military base, docks, and Omega building were the target of a large operation. Everyone was arrested. Robert the Paparazzi published the story and won a Pulitzer Prize. The two doctors and their two fathers dedicated themselves to finding a cure for cancer using nanonuclear weapons. Wasn't it one doctor? That's what they wanted us to believe. The captain of that boat? Retired with my 50 million dollars, but he died of gonorrhea the week after. Seriously? Nah, but he would have deserved it. Do you remember Private Mike, the one I found hammered and whose leave I obtained? Well, he could finally visit his daughter for her birthday. Hello? <gasps> Daddy! And I went back to my old life as a smuggler. The end. Wow, Jesse, that's the most incredible story ever told. My god, you have an amazing imagination. You should be a video game writer. You don't believe me? Not a word. Thank you very much, Miss Incredulous. Hey, who are those guys? Must be an improvised patrol. Don't say a word if they don't ask you anything. Good morning. May I see your passports, please? Good morning. Here you are. Very well. Let's see. Fuck. 
You're Jesse Fox. Uh, yeah, that's me. Holy Jesus, I can't believe it. Hey, Jimmy, who is that guy? Fuck, Mike, he's Fox. The one who rescued Colonel Alan Harris and prevented the nuclear attacks. I really admire you, Mr. Fox. You're a fucking hero. Thanks, soldier. Here are your passports. Go, drive carefully. Are you okay? You've been very quiet. Stop the car. What's up? Then it's true. It's all true. Now do you believe me? Kiss me. What? Kiss me now. Hey, Jimmy, who the fuck is this Colonel Alan Harris? I don't know. Yesterday I met that guy in a bar. He was nice. I told him that I was going to slog as a guard here today. And he said if I pretended he rescued the Colonel and prevented nuclear attacks when he drove by, that he'd give me a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks for saying four sentences. Can you believe it? Good morning. May I see your passports, please? Good morning. Here you are. It's been the easiest 100 bucks ever. Fuck. People make up stupid shit just to score. Yeah, dude. 